testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Let me get in front of the camera. We are back uh, with another edition of Quick Hits. Uh, Vampire stream tonight. Uh, after the Canelo fight, I, I went back and I watched uh, some other stuff. Darrell, Card, um, the Nets and the Mavs. Uh, but I wanted to do a show, give you a real quick take on Canelo. Now, the fight was what we thought it was. Um, before we get into that, please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes at you twice a day. Eight and ten minute segments a day, Monday through Saturday, and then one show a day on Sunday. Uh, follow me, again, all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, share uh, share with a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Um, so, like I said, let, let's get right into the topic of today's show, which is Canelo Alvarez. Uh, the fight itself, I pre- Projected, you can go back. I said a fourth round knockout was one round quicker than that. It was a third round knockout uh, that Canelo scored. Uh, made him quit. And he dropped him in the third. Dropped Yildrim in the third. Uh, they went back. Joel Diaz, uh, Yildrim's trainer, was in there saying, um, "You know, one more round, one more round." Then they went to you know some some highlights, and they came back and they had waved the fights off. Yildrim was a beat man. He was done. Um. It was a mismatch amongst mismatches. So there's not much to get into a fight. Uh, Canelo absolutely demoed him. It was a demoed him. It was a boxing clinic. There was nothing. You, there's nothing less Canelo could do. There's nothing not to like about it except for the opponent, right? So he, he takes apart the opponent, and obviously the haters are out there saying he cherry picked, which is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life because it was a mandatory. I don't like the opponent. If you don't like, oh, if you don't like the opponent. That's not on Canelo. That is 100%. Sorry about that. That is 100% on the World Boxing Association. Take that up with the WBA. Uh, Canelo did what he had to do. Scored a third round knockout. Ended the fight quickly. Um, and I, I guess, you know, all I can say about the fight is if you don't like the fight, it's not Canelo's fault. It's the World Boxing Association's fault. It's the sanctioning body's fault. Yildrum was mismatched. Yildrum did okay with Darrell, but lost. I don't know how losing to Darrell two years ago makes it a mandatory now. That seems really strange to me, but he was, and Canelo did what he had to do, and the fight is history. Now, what's next for Canelo Alvarez? Well, it's official. He's fighting Cinco de Mayo weekend against Billy Joe Saunders, a much different test. And this had the feel of like an NBA playoff series where the one seed sweeps the eight seed, and there's no celebration, there's no nothing, you just let's move to the next round. And it feels like Billy Joel, Billy Joe Saunders, Billy Joe is that next step, right? He's the second round. Could be a tougher challenge, but you still should win. And then we'll get to Caleb Plant, and we'll go from there. Um, but this is, that's what it was. It, it had that feel of it was just, okay. No need to celebrate. It was just it's just taking care of business, right? Like there's nothing there's nothing to celebrate here. Now the Billy Joe fight is a it's a steeper test. Billy Joe is an excellent fighter who gets up for his big fights, his best fights, his best performances, or his biggest fights. He's he doesn't have much for Canelo. Uh, this was a fight a few years ago. I thought would Billy Joe would have fared very well in. I, I don't think that way anymore. I think um, Billy Joe might be able to go the distance, maybe. Um, we're going to find out how good his chin is, and we're going to find out if he wants to fight. If Billy Joe comes to fight, he's going to lose, right? If he goes into survival mode, he may survive. Billy Joe is a really good craftsman. He's slippery. Um, he can make you miss, uh, but he can't make Canelo miss. Canelo will back him up into the ropes. Canelo will wear him down. Um, look, Billy Joe may be able to survive, but if he's fighting to survive... He's, you know what I'm saying? If he fights to survive, there's no way he can win. If he fights to win, there's no way he can survive. So it's it's a better fight. It's a great fight. Billy Joe's a two-weight division world champion. He's a legitimate, legitimate world champion. He's a good fighter. Um, he hasn't been tested much recently. Um, Murray uh, is the, and then before that, you're going back to uh, uh, David Lemieux. 
uh, Willie Monroe, Chris Eubank. He's got good wins. Spike O'Sullivan. I mean, he's, 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 he's got a solid resume. He's a good fighter. And he's got good skills. He's got excellent skills. It's just right now, this is the best fighter in the world peaking, right? This is what it looks like. Um, I, I'm going to compare him to the Kobe Bryant, right? Um, because Kobe came after Michael. Canelo comes after Floyd. Kobe's not better than Michael, but he's the next best thing. Canelo's not better than Floyd, but Canelo's the next best thing. It's also, Canelo's in this era of great athletes like Kobe was, right? Vince Carter, Tracy McGrady. Uh, but, you know, it's not like Canelo's not a good athlete and he doesn't have great gifts, but he, he hones everything and crashes everything. He, can see, he makes the most out of his talent, which is tremendous, right? But there are other fighters at the highest level who are as skilled as him. But Canelo does the most with it because he hones it and because he lives the life 24-7. So... Right now, Canelo's the best fighter in the world. There's no question about that. Canelo's the one pound pound king of the sport. Uh, Billy Joe is a good test. And it, I, whether or not Billy Joe last 12 rounds, I think it's incumbent on will Billy Joe fight to win or will he fight to survive? Like I said, if he, if he fights to win, he won't survive. If he fights to survive, he can't win. So, it's you know... It's a better fight, though. Like, it's a good second-round playoff matchup for, for Billy Joe. I, I think Billy Joe will win a couple rounds for, for Saunders. Uh, for, it's a good second-round matchup for Canelo, right? Like, um, I, I think Billy Joe wins some rounds. I think he gives him some looks. But I think, ultimately, uh, Canelo either dominates, you know, from the fourth or fifth round on or stops him, depending on – how Billy Joe, and we're going to find out about Billy Joe's chin. You know, he fought Lemieux, who can crack, but he never got touched by Lemieux. Um, this ain't David Lemieux. This is the best fighter in the world at his absolute peak. He looks tremendous. So it's a fun fight to watch. Um, it'll be on the zone, and then he'll be back end of the year to unify uh, with Caleb Plant for all four belts, hopefully. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, we'll be back two shows, well, one show tomorrow, tomorrow, Sunday, one show. And then Monday through Saturday, we do two shows a day. Um, remember, it's Quick Hits comes at you twice a day. It's eight, ten minutes to keep you up to date on all the latest news in the boxing world. Uh, like and subscribe. Follow us on all forms of social media at 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, it is February 27th, 2021. Um, Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get that to chance. Let's get Iron Boy in the Boxing Hall of Fame class of 2021. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.